welcome to my video uh, good morning good evening good afternoon it depends uh, where you are now watching this uh, video uh, today we gonna talk about the flower massacre it's happened a few days ago I don't know what's going on in here like when you gonna stop you know when, when this shit's gonna be stopped I'm so sick of it you know and uh, I can't understand the mentality of the people nowadays that this shit happening every day bomb and bomb and bomb and bomb and bomb uh, let's watch this together and uh, see what you guys think saw yesterday the flower massacre. Uh, Israel opened fire on desperate people in northern Gaza who were lining up early in the morning or late at night uh, for flour. And uh, then falsely claiming that the people who died were killed in a stampede, uh, which is just such a malicious lie. Uh, this was yet another massacre carried out by Israel with the full support of the Biden administration. So yeah, I mean, here's some footage from the that was immediately taken at the flower massacre, um, and the, you know these massacres have actually been happening day after day in northern Gaza on Al Rashid Street, which is one of the two streets that runs from north to south that's been basically destroyed by Israel in and around Gaza City. I mean, you can see, you can hear Israeli soldiers shooting. You can see the aftermath of tank shelling. You can see tracers. You can look at a few more scenes. Can look at a few more scenes from this chaos and then try to kind of unpack what happened there. And, um, well, look, I think you get the point. Um, Israel is claiming that everyone died as a result of a stampede um, but keep in mind this is an open area along a uh, along a major thoroughfare where people have the ability to move back it's not a packed theater and if you look uh, you know just go on Wikipedia and look up uh, stampeding deaths there, there's a page for it and you'll see that almost all of them have occurred in closed spaces. For example, when there's a fire in a nightclub, uh, those are typically where hundreds of people die. In a stadium, for example, and people can't get out, there's no exit. There, people can turn back and run away. You can clearly hear gunfire. People were found dead with tank shrapnel wounds on their body. Uh, those don't, those aren't, Wound. And on October 20, sorry, February 25th, this is well documented. It's documented by the UN. 30 people were killed in the same spot by Israel attacking them as they went to the aid truck. Truck. In fact, the State Department has acknowledged that Israel is attacking these aid convoys or people trying to get to them implicitly by stating that they are attacking or killing. Hamas police, in other words, the police of the Gaza Strip, because Hamas is the ruling, governing entity. And uh, as I said in the past few, past live stream, Matthew Miller, State Department spokesman, actually said that Israel has the right to hold Hamas accountable, 
by attacking those police. And so when you start attacking the police, who now have to operate undercover and under, in order to maintain order, then you create the context for chaos for criminal bands to come in, strip these trucks of aid, and then sell it back to the population at an inflated price, which is happening in Gaza, for sure, because there's, there's chaos, and the chaos, and Israel is responsible for the chaos because it is involved in a regime change war, as we saw in Libya, as we saw in parts of Syria, as we saw in Haiti. All of these regime change operations and regime change wars have caused instability, chaos, and corruption. And then in the midst of it all, you have the Israeli military holding the population under siege and just killing them because, as Defense Minister Yoav Gallant said, they're human animals. No food, no water, no energy, no gas. You must all die. There are no uninvolved. That is the Israeli military doctrine as it slaughters people in Gaza. You know, in terms of uh, the, the victims, this is from the AP. Gaza doctor says gunfire accounted for 80% of the wounds at his hospital from aid convoy bloodshed. So 80% of the wounds that this one doctor treated uh, were from gunfire. So the idea that this was a stampede is just such a complete lie. What a bullshit. Um, and here's the scholar Amal Saad, you know, just expounding more on what you're talking about there, Max, in terms of Israel's strategy. She says, there are two reasons behind Israel's latest massacre of starving Palestinians. By deterring Palestinians from attempting to feed their families, it can raise its bargaining ceiling and use starvation and the withholding of humanitarian aid as a, negotiating, as a negotiating strategy. Second, so that it can use this narrative of alleged chaos and thuggery around food supplies to the day after scenario. As conceived by Israel's colonial imagination in this final Hamas-free phase, aid delivery would be a paramount need and Israel would be, would be the only party able to restore law and order. This would give Israel full control, whether direct or indirect, over an unruly Gaza that requires colonial administration. So starvation as a weapon is deliberate uh, with a long-term plan uh, to make Gaza have to come under Israel's rule or the rule of a you know regime that it installed as a deliberate. So there you have it. That's, you know, it just make you thinking like, what's the good being a human? I'd rather die sometimes if I think about shit like this because I just can't handle it. I mean, I got a children, I got, uh, I got brother, I got sister and stuff like that. Can you imagine that is happening to one of us, to one of member of our family? That would be so horrible, horrible. Oh wow. Well. Uh we just hoping. Uh seems like uh we got a fresh air at the moment coming. George Galloway is married with the Indonesian woman. Look like she uh he uh win the parliament uh is a MP now and uh he's gonna make a big difference. You can hear the best thing that he said before is uh you know uh this victory for Gaza. That's pretty cool, no? Anyway, thank you very much, guys. Hopefully, uh, this video uh, giving us more information and see the truth what happening with this war. It's just bullshit. Thank you very much. Uh, for those of you who would like to share this video because YouTube doesn't like you me to sharing it much and the algorithm not gonna show me that much so if you guys can sharing it and uh some discussion about it i'll be so happy about it thank you and thank you to max blumenthal and aaron mate